everybody welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is Kaylee I make videos every Tuesday and Friday welcome 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 um and welcome to a new series that I have decided to start um I thought it would be quite a good idea to create this little series where I pick like a beauty product so bronzers like it is today or brushes or highlights or anything and I just show you guys everything that I've got that fits in that category and kind of talk about the things that I like the things that I don't like because I wanted a way to tell you about the makeup that I own and that I use on a day-to-day -day basis um but I couldn't really think of another way to include it in another type of video so I thought that this would be a good little series to kind of show you the things that I really really like um, and just the things that I have and the things that I think are so-so. So this is the look at my series. Today you're going to look at my bronzers. So I've gone through my makeup drawers and this is what I keep my bronzers in. I have a lot of um, parts of boxes from subscription boxes and stuff and I keep them inside my drawers to separate all my items. These are all my bronzers and I'm just going to go through them with you and tell you which ones I really like. <laughs> so I'm going to start with like the big palettes. Um, I have this for my benefit. It's called the Cheekathon and this actually lives at the bottom of the box and I hardly ever reach for it. Inside we've got three blushes and two bronzers. This is Hoola and this is Dallas. I never use Dallas. I feel like Dallas is too dark for my skin tone. Um, and I have used Hoola. I went through a phase where I really liked it. Um, but I've just stopped because it's in this big old thing. It's, and it's not like easily accessible really. Um, but I do think Hoola's nice. I have a mini of the Hoola Light as well actually. But I've got that in my eyeshadow drawer. Because I use it as a crease colour. Because it's too small for my bronzer brush. Um, I would prefer to have a, an actual hula box and I could put it inside there but there's that and I have this palette from Revolution I've had this for a couple of years now it's got like these highlighter kind of contoury shades on the top there and this like yellowy banana one and then these uh bronzing contour shades I actually think they're quite nice um, and I'm not that keen on Revolution but I do think they're nice and they're really pigmented like with my brush I just need to go tap and they are on my face yeah they're quite nice I'm gonna show you some of my favorites so um, I have this one by Soap and Glory this is called Solar Powder and it I've hit pan massively but it has like two shades a darker one and a lighter one and I really like this I just swirl it together and this is probably my lightest bronzer I feel like it's really nice especially when I've got my hair up um, and you can see my bronzer more I just use like a lighter one yeah I really like that another favorite is my Maybelline Master Sculpt this has a bronzer and a highlighter inside and also on the bottom it has a big mirror and a brush i really like this it's quite warm toned i really like warm toned bronzers on me again this one is quite light not as light as the soap and glory one but still kind of light but nice and warm and it comes with a little highlighter uh another like similar kind of product is this one with a bronzer and a highlighter in this is by Wet n Wild. I got this when I was in America. This is their Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. I don't know why it says contour twice. Um, this is really pigmented like the Revolution ones. I only need to like dip my brush in and I've got lots of colour. I really like that one. One that I seem to be reaching for a lot recently is this one by Bourjois. This is the bronzing powder uh, that looks like a chocolate bar and smells like chocolate as well. I really, really like this. Um, I just seem to be reaching for it a lot. So there's that. And I also have this by Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer. Um, another one of my favourites. It does have a really strong smell though. It smells like coconuts and like tropical fruits. Um, I like the smell, um, but if you ha are sensitive to smell, then I wouldn't recommend it. This one has like a weird brush that's not really a brush, it's like a sponge, um, but I don't really like using it, and also a mirror. 
Um, but yeah, I really like that one. And another one I really, really like is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This is it here. Um, does it have a shade? Uh, I don't think so. It just says bronzing powder. I don't know. Sorry. Um, I really like this one. I feel like it's really subtle. It does have like little bits of shimmer in, but they are really subtle as well. Um, I do find with this one I have to use my brush a little bit more than I would in some of the other ones, but... Oh. But yeah, I really like it still. I have some like stick bronzers. Oh, I've got two of these, which are the Model Co Contour Six. One I got in a box and one my friend gave to me because she gets the same box as me. Um, and they're all right. I just never really use them. Like they are quite nice. I just find that it's a lot of effort to use uh, stick bronzers. And I've got this NARS one, which is a bronzer and a highlight. This is Copacabana and Sidari Beach. Uh, so that's the highlighting end, which I don't like that much, to be honest. Oh, no, wait. See, there's, they're actually very similar. The bronzer is very light. Like, look how similar them shades are. This is the bronzer and this is the highlight. I feel like they're very similar. <laughs> I have these three mini Too Faced bronzers that I really like. Um, we have, these two are my favourites, we have Milk Chocolate Soleil and Chocolate Soleil. Um, I use the Milk Chocolate one as like an all over kind of bronzer and then I use this darker one as like an actual contour. I really like these together and they smell really nice as well. I think, yeah, they smell like chocolate. And then we have Sunbuddy that I never really use to be honest. Um, it's like a little duo there of a lighter shade and a darker shade. Uh, it seems to have a little bit of shimmer in, but I never ever reach for it. Um, I think I've just got too many bronzers that I already know I really like. <laughs> I've got this one by Nude by Nature, which is a natural go glow loose bronzer in the shade Bondi Bronze. And I think it looks nice on the skin. Oh, look at it there. Oh. It's just messy and a lot of effort and yeah, I'm. it's just a lot of effort really, having a loose bronzer. I have this one by MAC, which is part of their collaboration with Selena. Um, again, this has like two shades to it. This is quite nice. Um, again, it's one that I have to swirl my brush in quite a lot to get the pigment off. I feel like it's pressed down really hard and so it's hard to get the actual pigment off. Um, this is in the shade Techno Cumbia, 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 <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah, that's another one. And now we've kind of got these ones that are more to the back and they're the ones that I don't really use. Um, to be honest, some of them might need to be thrown out. Um, we've got this number seven one, uh, Perfectly Bronze Jewel Bronzer. I find that this one, even though it might not look like it, when it comes out, it's really warm toned. It has like a reddish tone to it when you mix it together and I feel like it's too dark for me, too warm for me um, and I would just save it for like if I'm tanned I feel like it would suit me. I have a couple of like little palettes so I've got this Rimmel Kate Moss one with a bronzer, a highlight and a blush inside and let me just open it. And to be fair, I actually really like using all of these um, but I just never do anymore and it's probably really old and needs to be thrown away. <laughs> Then I've got this sleek one that I, again, I think the bronzer is too dark for me. Um, and the highlight is not light enough for me. It's like almost got a little bit of orangey tone in there. I don't really like that very much. And this W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow, um, which is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, the bronzer has shimmer in and yeah, again, I never reach for them. That probably needs to be thrown away. This is less of a look at my stuff and more like what needs to be thrown away. <laughs> I've got the L'Oreal Glam Bronze that I used to use quite a lot actually. Like I've gone really far down in that. Um, yeah, I just never use it. The MAC uh, Copper Tone. This is crazy. Like I used to wear this as a bronzer all the time when I was at uni. And now I look at it and it's so warm and coppery, like, I can't believe I used that as a bronzer. That I would never do that now. 
I also have this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I bought this, I used to use the MUA bronzer um, when it was matte and now I think they've changed it. Um, and I bought this around the same time I was looking for cheaper bronzers to use every day at work. This was just not up my street, the colour wasn't right for me. I can't really remember why, but looking at it, it looks like quite dark. Yeah, I don't know, but this wasn't for me, but I've still kept it. And my last two, I've got this one by Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Sculpting Duo. This bronzer is really, really dark. This highlight is like a frosty kind of highlight and it doesn't really look nice on my skin. It's like an icy one. Um, so those colours don't really suit me. And then I've got this tiny little bourgeois one um, in the shade Sandalwood, which is number 92. It comes with a tiny little brush. Uh, and there it is there I used to use this a lot and use the little brush and like contour when I worked in a little pub um let's give it a little swatch now hmm it is really old not much is actually coming off there at all to be honest um yeah I think it is really warm it's actually got loads of shimmer in I can't believe I used to contour with it I think this needs to be thrown away so they are all of the bronzers that I currently own I am um, bronzers are like m my favorite thing I think to buy I love finding a good new bronzer um I've now decided a few I'm either going to chuck away or give to someone who will use them more than me because um I do have a lot and I've got quite a few that I don't ever use anymore so that's good. Um, I will leave a list down below of every single bronzer that I've spoken about in the order I've spoken about them just in case you have the same skin tone as me and you liked the look of any I showed you um, so you can just go back and see what the name was. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at all the bronzers I own. Stay tuned for more of the Look At My series. Um, I really want to show you my brushes and show you some of my favourite brushes. I was going to make this series like a favourites, like my favourite bronzers, my favourite brushes, my favourite highlights. But I also wanted to show you ones that I just don't use and ones that just don't suit my skin tone and stuff like that. So that's why the series is like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in a few days. Bye.